Hello and welcome to this video in which we will discover how to get rich from nothing. How do I get rich from nothing? Let's face it, this thought must have crossed your mind a couple of times. During your search for the right answer, you most probably may have come across a whole lot of stuff claiming to be the secret to unlocking the floodgates of wealth and riches. The answers you're told may vary from hard work, dedication, and resilience to better still statements such as, if you can dream it, then believe it and you will achieve it. As much as it is in your nature to be sucked into such suggestions that are not only mouth-watering but relatively easy, you need to exercise wisdom by being judicious and more selective with what you feed your mind. This then calls for you to adopt the critical thinking skills and feasible actions that the rich apply in order to achieve maximum results rather than remain ignorant and wonder what they are doing differently. After carrying out in-depth research and study of certain individuals who have had a rags-to-riches episode and made their mark on the history books of unlocking the golden gates of wealth, I've come up with effective ways that are not only true, but have been tried and tested by relevant authorities to be legitimate strategies in becoming rich from scratch. Let's get on with getting rich from nothing, but just before, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to download your free book on financial freedom by clicking on the link in the description below. Number 1. Come up with a great idea According to a March 2018 report published by a popular and renowned business magazine that focuses on finance, investment, trade, and lifestyle, 67% of the world's top billionaires are self-made. What this means in layman terms is that a vast majority of the world's top richest individuals came not either from a wealthy background or inherit a vast amount of cash. Instead, they gained their wealth and made a name for themselves solely on their own. An in-depth analysis of some of these wealthy individuals will reveal that they all have something in common other than their monetary status, and that is, they either came up with an innovative, creative, and unique idea regarding products or services which they improved or worked on that could solve the problems of potential customers while satisfying their needs on a vast scale. Even if you do not have the next golden idea, there are other ways to go follow in knowing what to venture into as a budding entrepreneur. You can still go about interacting and communicating with various individuals who are your potential customers on what their problems are and how you can come up with effective solutions to address them. Although this may not sound appealing to you at first because of how time-consuming and draining it is, you should have it at the back of your mind that you're laying the groundwork for your potential riches. Going back to the grassroots of business relationships gives you an opportunity to be up close and personal with other people. This way, you're able to understand what they need and what they don't need. If you're able to devise and formulate a business idea around the data you get, you can be certified of patronage, and with this comes cash flow. Another added benefit to this technique is that you are able to gradually build up the customer base that you can always return to when you have a service product that they will want or need. This customer base also plays a pivotal role during your product development in the long run because you can tap into this valuable resource to gain, build, and maintain momentum for your future business endeavors. 2. Harness Social Media You may wonder why I am so specific about social media and not the web, and this is because it costs less to get your word out there using your social media pages than compared to, let's say, owning and operating a professional website or any other extensive form of digital marketing campaigns. You are trying to build your empire from scratch or meager resources, and therefore you will have to be frugal with any potential expenses along the way. By leveraging the power of social media, it gives you a major opportunity to reach greater heights and achieve maximum strides as compared to, let's say, entrepreneurs in the early 90s or 20th century. Recent developments in science and technology are rapidly changing the way we use social media, and it's no longer business as usual from previous ways. Notwithstanding, following new trends, staying well informed, and gaining knowledge on the new tactics, techniques, and strategies on targeted marketing through various social media platforms is crucial to its application in your business operations. With scores and multitudes of internet users who are actively uploading, commenting, and interacting on various social media platforms, you can tap into this valuable human resource by opening an online business page. 
On this page, you can then proceed to update all your relevant details, contact information, working hours, and service offerings. Using social media is so easy because everything is practically laid out for you. You do not have to be a tech genius to use it. Of course, you may need help here and there with some tactics on targeted marketing, but this you can easily grasp and get the hang of over time. In the long run, you can work towards verifying your page in order to prove to your audience that what you do is authentic and credible. With time, when you start making some bit of money from patronage using your social media pages as an operating base, you can then transition by investing in a professional website to improve your brand and widen your business marketing mediums. Your social media page can also be used as a medium to conveniently and easily interact and engage with your following. This way, you're able to build trust, which is a valuable and priceless asset on your journey to breaking out and creating a solid brand. Number 3. Become Mobile As an emerging entrepreneur who is probably starting out with very little or no cash, you might not be able to afford to pay for the expenses that come with owning an office. You may wonder how possible it would be for you to have your meetings without an office. Fortunately, you can be your own mobile office, at least for the time being, before you become more established. By becoming mobile, I mean ensure that all your meetings are at the convenience of your potential customers. This is another great way to kick off, especially when on minimal finances. By meeting your potential customers in their own offices, you get to see them in their own work setting. Since it's a familiar place to them, they are more comfortable and relaxed. This kind of tone will play a pivotal part when they want to make a judgment call. If your potential customer does not have an office, then you can politely request for the meeting to take place in a neutral space or location that is best suited for such engagements. When you're trying to make money from scratch, you obviously will not want to splash any little cash that comes into an office. Instead, focus on investing your time, hustle, and energy into building relationships with all your prospects and leads. Any income generated can then be used to foster growth and fund other crucial areas of your business. 4. Form Business Alliances Forming business alliances is going to prove valuable and priceless in taking your endeavors to riches on the next stage. When you invest your time and energy in making positive connections by forming partnerships and alliances, you are placing yourself in a continuous trade cycle of demand and supply. This doesn't come easy because you have to research and find other individuals who are selling a different kind of commodity to your target audience. Once you identify them and set up a meeting, adequate discussions can then be held on how you can all come to an agreement in which parties involved get to benefit from such a deal. You must remember that this alliance has to be with other entities that are already selling to an audience you're interested in. This arrangement does not necessarily mean that they have to own a significant piece of your business, but an agreement in which you and the other party can develop a healthy and strong working relationship. This way customers can go both ways and when this happens, you're now given access to a whole new market which then becomes an immense plus for you. You must have it in mind that this may not work out the first time of trying. You may get turned down by those who may be skeptical about trying such new tactics with fears of losing their base. But you should not give up. You cannot give up. Once you figure out those entities from who your target audience is patronizing for a different but related service, you can then find a way of coming in between such stream of supply. Forming a healthy business relationship will not cost you anything and only requires you to work on being convincing, genuine, and business savvy. 5. Gain Exposure even if you have a high-quality product that cannot be compared to what others are selling or superb service delivery, it is nothing without the right exposure. Remember, for you to thrive, you need to promote yourself by getting the word out and staying under people's radar. For you to grow, you need to come up with strategies that draw attention to you. Your prime focus should be visible, which is an essential component in putting what you do out there. You can always take advantage of social media to build your own online community with which you can exercise your own mild influence in a manner that is subtle yet relatable. Relating to your target market from the grassroots gives what you do a personal touch and breeds familiarity. This closeness will play a pivotal role in what you do because you are building trust and maintaining profitable relationships that are beneficial to helping you grow. 
To gain additional exposure during this time, you can also offer to share your thoughts and opinions as an expert in your industry to publications, blogs, etc. This way you gain recognition as an authority within your field who fully knows what the consumer truly wants and how to satisfy their needs. 6. Pre-sell You must not have enormous capital before you can set your business plans in motion, especially when it involves the process involved in the development of your products. A smart approach you could adopt is pre-selling, which is the act of selling your product idea before it's even made. There are several platforms such as Kickstarter on which you could create your product page, which you then promote and market in order to get the word out on its specifications and the purpose it's meant to serve. Pre-selling gives you an opportunity to source for funding through individuals who are willing to support your idea while it's still in development, with a promise of you giving them first access and discounts when you eventually launch. When you are pre-selling, you need to ensure that you are specific with the level of customers and funding you need, which should be based on data obtained from accurate research and not assumptions. If you do not get enough traction from pre-selling, then you do not have to go and spend a huge sum of money building it, because you have gotten to test the waters and seen the market reaction to your product idea. But of course, this depends on how well you're able to explain to identify your target audience's pain points and then design your product to address and solve their issues. After the pre-selling phase, where you gradually build up your list of early adopters, comes the smoke test. This allows you to validate and examine how effective your product will be in addressing the concerns of anyone who makes a purchase. 7. Trade and Barter When you're just starting out on the path to riches, you should not be focused on how much resources you have, but instead, your attention should be on your resourcefulness. Trade and barter requires you to think of those crucial components that you are lacking or in urgent need of and then find someone who you can barter for it. Before taking this step, you have to figure out what the other party wants. Then, if you are in the capacity to provide it, you can make a trade to get what you want in return. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. You're also free to receive the new book, 5 Steps to Financial Freedom, by clicking on the link in the description below.